folks, Chef Jesse here. How's everybody doing this beautiful Saturday? Finally, the sun came out. It's about 80-something uh, degrees. I went out shopping, and it was hot and started to get humid, and nah, I don't like that stuff. Anyway, folks, and I'm going to run the oven. Today, folks, I am making um, barbecue ribs, okay? I'm having uh, barbecue pork ribs. I am having some, uh, what am I doing? Oh, I'm making some fried pickles. I'm making some fried mozzarella sticks. These are all homemade. And I'm gonna have some mac and cheese, homemade. Everything homemade, okay? So I got my oven running, preheating, and uh, I'm gonna show you the ribs, how they look like. So the ribs have been uh, marinating since last night, and they look pretty good. So let's just show you here. These are the ribs, okay? A whole rack that I'm gonna be cooking. There you go. And uh, let me get a picture of this. Okay, so I'm going to be putting this in the oven at 350 for about, I don't know, about two hours. It's not that big. So I'm going to put them in there for about two hours, cover them up real nicely, aluminum foil, let them cook with the, with the heat, with the steam, and hopefully they'll be good. So anyway, folks, let me, uh, let me put this in the oven and let me start doing my, uh, the rest of the dinner. Okay, so stay tuned. So folks, I'm making my, uh, my fried pickles um fried pickles let me just i don't have a lot of room in this kitchen so you're gonna see the mess i got here but i'm dipping my fried pickles in a batter of yogurt and milk and then i'm dipping in uh so i dip it first in flour dip it in the in the milk mixture and then i dip it in panko and i'm gonna put it aside and i'm gonna put it in the freezer because it has to be adhered to it so you have to have it in the freezer at least an hour or so so when you deep fry you cook it real quick you fry it real quick it doesn't fall apart so let me show you how i'm doing this so hopefully you can see okay so i'm taking a pickle i'm putting it in flour okay just whipping it up in flour no big thing just dredge it in flour okay there we go make sure it's full okay now i'm going to put it in this mat in this batter here okay and this is just milk with some uh you can use buttermilk actually but i didn't have any buttermilk so i added some yogurt to the mix making it uh obtaining the taste that i'm looking for then i put it in here and i cover it up okay and cover it up completely and you continue to do all the other ones as well now you put this on the plate like uh, like so and then you put this in the freezer for about an hour hour and a half the longer the better and then you make sure the oil is hot boom you throw it in there and you cook it up real quick and there goes your fried uh, pick pickles so stay tuned so folks I'm making my mozzarella sticks and uh, let me show you how we do it okay. I couldn't get uh for whatever reason I in my supermarket I couldn't get uh, fresh mozzarella sticks. So these are mixed with mozzarella and cheddar cheese, which is not traditional, but my supermarket is bootleg, so that's what I have to deal with. So I put it in the egg wash, then I drench it in flour, okay, and then I drench it again in the, in the egg wash again, and then I put it into the panko. I'm using panko because I like panko. It's thick. It's it's good. It uh it's nice and crunchier when you cook it. Okay, and I do that, and and I'll dip it again in here. There we go. Look at that. Okay, and then back in here. Okay, so what happens here is that I got to put these in the freezer for about an hour or so, just like the uh, just like the pickles, and then I'm going to start frying them, deep fry them real quickly, so that it doesn't give it the uh, the cheese doesn't melt right away, and uh, you get you know you get a nice mozzarella stick. It might fall apart, it might not, I don't know, we'll see. So folks, my uh, my mozzarella sticks are in the freezer. Uh, let me, I don't want to show you, I'll show you later. My mozzarella sticks are in the freezer for about an hour. I got to put the timer. One hour, and so are my pickles. So after about an hour, a little bit more or less, well, a lot more. I'm going to take them out and I'm going to make sure the oil is hot. I'm going to throw them in there, fry them up so it doesn't get a chance, to, the cheese doesn't get a chance to spill all over the place. And the pickles fry and the coating doesn't come off. That's why you put them in the freezer. So that it adheres. It adheres. So anyway, folks, I'm going to be making my cheese sauce 
for my mac and cheese. I'm making some simple mac and cheese, nothing fancy, nothing with 15 cheeses. Other than that. I'm using cheddar and I'm using uh, Swiss and uh, some maybe some mozzarella. I I'm using maybe two or three combinations of cheeses. Nothing fancy. I'm, it's a small plate so that we could have. I don't want any leftovers. And uh, so stay tuned, okay? Okay, folks, so now I'm melting two tablespoons of butter. And then I'm going to throw three tablespoons of uh, flour in there when the butter melts. And then I'm going to whip it up for about 30 seconds. And then I'm going to add the milk in there. And this is going to become my sauce in, uh, for my... I'm going to whisk it up, become my sauce for the cheese sauce for the macaroni and cheese. Okay, so stay tuned. So right now what I'm doing is I'm mixing up my... Uh, let see if you can see it here. Okay. I got my flour and I got my butter in there. I'm making sure that it's all broken up. Okay. And then in a few minutes, when I whip it up, you can see. Then it, there you go. Make sure I don't have any lumps in here. Then I'm going to add my two cups of milk, which I added garlic powder, salt, pepper, and a whole other stuff. Okay. So here goes. Here we go. And I'm gonna bring this to a boil. And this is gonna become my cheese sauce. And then after this boils, I bring it down and then I'll throw my cheese in it and then it will become my cheese sauce. And then we'll start putting it on the, the mac and cheese.